How you can work with the API Builder to build your API definitions in multiple different ways. Let's go ahead and get started. So if you go to your left hand corner and click on the APIs tab, you can get started with creating an API in multiple different ways. If I click on create an API or if I click on new API, I can get started with creating my API. Let's get started by creating an API from scratch, importing a schema definition from local files. So let me call this API pet store API. Here I can see that I have a ability to create a definition in one of two ways, whether that's importing a definition or authoring a definition from scratch. If I wanted to import a definition, I can look at my local folder and I can look at a file that has the definitions that I'm interested in. Here I am seeing that I can import multiple files in one go and I can see what my um, what type of API schema that my file is. Being able to import multiple files is much more efficient and it's a new way of being able to work with your open API schema. Here you can see that I'm referencing multiple files that are embedded in multiple different folders, which gives me the ability to organize my YAML files in such a way where I don't have one giant schema. So this is one way you can work with your definitions by importing them from your local folders. Here I can see my documentation that is associated with my overall OpenAPI YAML file and I can take a look at my overall overview where I can connect my repository, test and um, perform test automations and API performance. I can also go ahead and generate collections from my API definition. Which will which coincide with all of the routes that I have defined within my particular open API schema. Another way to work with your API is by creating an API from scratch. Here I can author my definition from scratch by selecting my definition type, whether that's an open API or a protobuf or a GraphQL API. I can set my definition format, which is YAML or JSON, and I can use a predefined template to create my definition. Here I can see that all of my paths are associated. I can make specific edits. I can I can also lint and I can also beautify my overall template and also take a look at any violations that are found in my open API schema. I can rename this API. and connect to a repository accordingly. If I have an API that is embedded in a repository, I can create this API by connecting directly to my GitHub repository. I can set my organization and then find my API accordingly, as well as set my initial branches and my schema and collection directories. I can now import my API using a code repository, which allows me to authorize to my GitHub and find where exactly where my API is lives and import my API accordingly. Here, 
Here I can see all of my source control changes. as well as commit my changes to my GitHub repository. I can take a look at my API performance and also monitor and connect my performance and my deployments as well. These are the three ways that you can work with your APIs and set up your schema, whether that's working with a GitHub repository importing your files locally and working with multi-file schemas, as well as building your API definitions from scratch. I hope this helps you as you go on your API building journey. Thank you.